Hello everyone, it's Old King and welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video. So today we'll be talking about the end of the month summon selection. It's the movie summons Jet Black summon selection. Um, who would have thought movie characters? I mean, it's basically remakes, but once again, it's the movie characters. We have Kusaka, Derek Rukia, and Kokto. For some people it's really hype, for some others it's an easy steep. Personally, I don't know, I have mixed emotions uh, about this one. Um, we'll see the stats in the gameplay and I don't know, I'll decide whether I'm going to summon or not in the end of the video. So let's see. Let's start with Dark Rutia. All type, so she is basically ranged, strong in her character. Uh, all her attacks inflict weaken, and she has a new steel which is increased status element chance against power attributes soul reapers. She is of course a no affiliation character with 815 SP. She is a, a speed character with soul reaper killer. All right. Strong attack research time months 12% as her soul trait. In it still Sprinter plus one and fire immunity. All right, and she's got a lot of steals. Okay, so she has Bruiser, Berserker, Devastation, damage to weakened enemies plus twenty percent, which is really good. Nullify ranged resistance one hundred percent. Ooh, that's a very good steal. Havoc, Frenzy, Debilitator plus five seconds, and increased status element chance against power attributes Soul Reapers. All right. Looking good, looking good. Then we have Kokto, he is a melee strong dark character. All his attacks inflict weaken, no affiliation character with a hollow killer uh, with 811 SP and he is a power character. Strong dark reach time minus 12% as his soul trait and his steals are Bruiser, Berserker, Devastation, Sprinter plus one. She got the Inheritance Zone only Technique Link Slot Potion plus 5. Alright. Alright. So I was about to say he doesn't have any innate steals. So the reason for that is because he got Technique Link Slot Potions plus 5. And he has Havoc Frenzy Debilitator plus 5 seconds and Guard Break. Okay, two really good uh, steals. I mean, every single steal in here is very really good. But like. Uh, the inheritance zone uh, still and the guard break still really stands out since frenzies um, I'll say it's kind of like um, like we're used to frenzy and that's uh, that's good like frenzy is really good but like you see frenzy every day now while the inheritance zone still and the guard break still are kind of rare these days so yeah these are really good okay so if you don't have riruka here's kokto for you and of course kokto is way better than riruka since he's an sp character so yeah and final we have kasaka uh he's a, he's a melee strong dark character all his attacks inflict freeze and he has a new steal which is Technique Attribute Soul Reaper Damage to Status Element Affected Enemies plus 20% uh, Soul Reaper Affiliation with 806 SP He is a Technique character with Soul Reaper Killer uh, Soul Trade is strong like Richard Diamonds 12% And he has Weakened Immunity as his innate steal And then Bruiser, Berserker, Devastation uh, technique attribute soul repair damage to status element affected enemies plus 20% Sprinter Havoc Frenzy Debilitator plus 5 seconds and damage to frozen enemies plus 20% as his attainable steals All right, all three looking all three are looking really strong and The fillers are Okay, so the fillers are uh, fourth anniversary Ichigo's like Mugetsu and Vastalorde, 
Then we have um, inheritance zone kiste, um, Christmas Momo, which is also a, a nice character, basically. Then Christmas Nelil, she is a very good 14 Richard Link. And Tensa Zanetsu, who's also another very good 14 Richard Link. So the fillers are actually good, yes. I mean, honestly, I would like to to have the old movie characters as fillers because I don't have every single one. But like, the fillers are actually good. And they are going with this format, huh? So there's 4.5% for a featured 5-star character. Basically, 4.5% to get one of these. And there's 1.5% to get a random character that is basically from the general premium pool. And that's basically it. So, so far, like... From a popularity standpoint, I'm not honestly not interested, but uh, since we read like the stills and uh, saw the stats, I'm kind of like thinking about summoning one or two multis. Um, I don't think gameplay will affect my opinion on this. Who do I think will look like the best? I don't know, we'll have to see the gameplay, but... Yeah, I don't know, like, maybe one or two multi, otherwise I'm probably going to skip, but we'll see. Alright, let's go and watch the gameplay, and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so note bad, some of these moves look kind of generic, but I guess, in my opinion, uh, based on uh, visuals, I think Kusaka looks the best, but that's just my opinion. But honestly, like, visuals or like how they look doesn't matter here. Uh, like, for example, Kokta, as you can see, he's ugly AF. But he's strong, you know, like Koga, lol. I mean, here Dark Rutia doesn't look um, that great either, but she's strong, you know. But enough of that, you could say <laughs> this is a strange summon selection, but honestly, like, the gameplay doesn't blow me away, but these characters are strong, of course, they're really good. So I'll suggest maybe summoning for one or two multis. And then, like, go based on what you get or, like, what you like and what you want. But I'm just gonna stop rambling on now. I think, like, you can skip if you want because there are cool summer selections coming. But I guess, like, one multi or two won't hurt anyone. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. And with that out of the way, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video because it really helps me out a lot. 
also click the notifications bell so that you get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you next time. Remember to put a smile on your face. As always, say it with me. Plus, ultra.